जस्ट क्रिएट वन न्यू डायनेमिक वेब प्रोजेक्ट सरलेट लाइफ साइकिल ओके वेर वी शुड राइट क्लासेस वेर वी शुड राइट व्यू पेजेस जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस स्ट्रक्चर हियर या आई मैक्सिमाइज इट वेन यू क्रिएट ए प्रोजेक्ट अंडर एक्लिप्स सी हियर वेन यू क्रिएट ए प्रोजेक्ट अंडर एक्लिप्स इट विल क्रिएट एप्लीकेशन लाइक दिस हाउ मेनी how many routes we have here deployment descriptor here we have one deployment descriptor and here we have one jax ws web services by default it is adding here and java resources java script resources build path i mean build configurations web content so here what we should use mainly java resources we have to use and at this java resources we have one src and here we have web content inside web content what we should put our view pages we need to put here and our select classes we need to write here okay so if you want to create any view page just right click on web content go to new create a page html file if you want to create click on html file then here if you want to write something like registration dot html we can write that registration dot html here so where we are creating that registration dot html directly inside web content inside web content we are trying to creating here and for that registration dot html if you want to write to any sarlet you need to write that sarlet under src go to java resources there you need to create sarlet go to new and here you need to select new java class instead of new java class you can select directly sarlet if i go through new java class what happens i need to write a sarlet class finally configurations i need to keep under web.xml file manually but if i go through this sarlet automatically it will generate a web.xml file okay first i'll go through simple class okay later i'll show you how to use sarlet <coughs> write a class my class name registration sarlet you need to implement this sarlet from a interface this is my sarlet class registration sarlet and i need to implement it from sarlet interface sarlet interface and how many methods need to implement here five methods destroy get sarlet config get sarlet info keep them aside yeah just i'll keep them lost see init method init method input parameter name is what sarlet config just i'll write this name as a config okay this is config object using config object we can read web.xml file data but only init parameters data we can read okay just i'll write one statement here system.out.println at first user request or else simply you can write while after object creation so after creation of your sarlet object immediately it will execute it and when sarlet object will create how we can know that if i override default constructor inside default constructor if i put any statement here registration sarlet so when this statement will, will execute at the time of object creation only right registration sarlet object created while executing this constructor it will create object and uh, once after creating your object it will execute immediately init method so then inside service method what i can write any user required operations i can write so here i'll write one statement at user request at the time of user request it will execute it 
I am writing simple SOP statements. These SOPs you can observe from console, not from browser. Okay. And finally, we have destroy method. When this destroy method will execute? At the undeployment or shutdown. SHUT while shutting down or while undeploying or while stopping your container. Then select config and select context. Yeah, leave about these two methods. So here one is constructor. Constructor will execute at the time of object creation. And init method will execute once after object creation. Service method will execute at the time of user request for every user request it will execute destroy method will execute at the time of undeployment so now where i need to create mappings for this servlets i have a servlet here and i have a input page here okay from input page just i want to create a simple hyperlink how to create hyperlinks you know right a href so i have a link here Sim simple address i am putting here something reg servlet i have one pattern reg servlet click me when you click here it will generate one action reg servlet okay href okay reg servlet now using this reg servlet i want to provide mapping to this registration servlet from where i can provide these mappings web.xml file so my welcome page name is what if you put anything under welcome page, what happens? While loading your application, it will load directly on browser. Registration.html. Okay, servlet. Servlet name is what? Put any name. Something REG. Servlet class? Registration. servlet registration registration servlet yeah then servlet mapping servlet name reg and url pattern slash reg servlet okay when you click there it will generate this action and it will go to registration servlet before going to registration servlet it will create object if it create objects it will execute init method okay then for every time request it will execute service method but first time request it will create object it will execute init method you can observe it here okay i don't have any load on startup for my servlet if i have load on startup then it is different okay now try to run this right click on your application go to run as run on server finish observe this console in this console we don't have any statements okay sop statements we don't have when i click it registration servlet object created once after creating immediately it is executing your init method okay then this one executing from service method why these many statements are executing at the first time request you need to create object right while creating object inside constructor we have this statement so this constructor statement executing once after creation of object unit method need to execute right so this unit method code also executing and actually user requesting right for each user request you need to execute what service method so that finally service method code executing once again if i request copy same url request from any other browsers again click here I have click me here so if I click it here what happens it user requested is it executed again and again these two two lines only one time executing right means only one time your object created and only one time Unit method executing here. Not every time, right?
only one time it is executing so if you try to submit request every time from your browser you can observe here for your every request what it will do when you click here only at request executing here observing here so only service method executing not the remaining methods init method and constructor so now if i try to undeploy my application go to here you can restart your application or you can stop your container if you try to stop your container see this at undeployment or else at the time of shutdown while shutdowning your server or else while undeploying your application also it will execute it so now you understand right now if you want to make available some data here select context data or config data we can supply from here right one more thing for your select you can keep load on startup by putting load on startup now you can see the difference here you can keep load on startup from 1 to 10 okay you can put any range so one means it have higher preference so first this select object need to be create okay when i put load on startup what happens it will not wait for the user request before user request itself it will execute your constructor and init methods try to redeploy it again see we are not requesting still we are not requesting but see see the statements registration servlet object created and init method also executed but user not requested right so before user request itself it will create object why because we are putting load on startup we are saying on loading time itself you need to start so that's why on load on startup itself it is creating your servlet object so now if user request now only user request service method only will execute init method and constructor executed already and while user request what it will do just it will execute your service only while clicking every time here it will execute your service method destroy as usual at the time of deployment undeployment or else at the time of shutdown time okay yeah